The last time I shared with you, I shared with you that we are in a season of mass deception. Well, beloved, I had a question uh, that I needed to bring before the Lord and seek the Lord about uh, this uh, matter. And the question was, where are God's watchmen? If there is mass destruction, if there is mass deception, Father, your word tells us that you do nothing or allow nothing to happen unless you first reveal it to your prophets for your people's sake in order that they might prepare themselves for what they will be facing. Yes, the world will be deceived, but you said that we would not be deceived who are his children. And beloved, the answer came, and it is found in Isaiah 56, 10, and 12. Where are the watchmen today? The Word of God says in the 10th verse, this was a time, first of all, this was a time that Israel needed a watchman. Uh, the watchmen uh, for the season uh, that they were living in and that was coming upon them. But look what the Lord said happened to them, which will also happen to the modern prophetic voices and of the watchmen. Look what he says. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. This is God speaking, beloved. They are all dumb dogs or mute dogs. They cannot bark. They're sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yea, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. Beloved, we are living under the auspices and the deception of a false gospel that teaches we ought to walk in prosperity. And beloved, that was the beginning of the, 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 the what, what I might say, the blinding of those who are in leadership. When the prosperity gospel began to fill the land and fill uh, the nations of the world, beloved, blindness began to fall upon the leaders and especially upon those who should be watching for the souls of God's people. He says, they have become greedy dogs which can never have enough and they are shepherds that cannot understand they all look to their own way, taking care of themselves. Everyone, uh, everyone for his gain only, for his quarter. Come and come ye, say they, I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day, and much more abundant and abundance. Beloved in Christ, Satan offered Jesus the world.
the powers of the world if he would bow down and worship him. Beloved, he is asking for the same thing today and providing it to those who will hear, listen, adhere, and give allegiance to him. Beloved in Christ, keep your eyes upon the Lord like never before. For the word says that the true saints love the Lord even unto death. Beloved in Christ, be not deceived. The watchman at this season is no longer watching over your soul. But they have gathered together for their own gain, for their own prosperity. And the souls that God will hold them accountable for, they're no longer watching. They have left their post. And this is the reason why. Because of selfishness and self-gain. Beloved in Christ, Beware, God is warning us. Beloved, be blessed today. And may the Father open the, your heart to his understanding in the name of Yeshua, Jesus the Christ.